everybody it's Emily the crazy worm lady here today with the urban worm bag I wanted to give you guys an update um, if you recall when we set this up I put um, an entire Rubbermaid full of compost and worms into this bin before I added the bedding and some banana peels or actually whole bananas rather and I wanted to see how that was coming along looks like definitely rotting and there's definitely some worm activity sometimes people ask is mold a bad thing and it's not because that's what the worms feed off of so I'm glad it looks like they're moving in here let's look at one of the other ones It's just chock full of worms. So that's encouraging that they are um, already moving up and into this area. Um, unlike some of my other bins, this is not a bin that I will be able to dig deep into because the whole concept is um, not to dig deep because you want that compost at the bottom to um, get compacted and um, ready to harvest. So I'll be able to look at the top you know, few inches as we continue to add to it, but um, we won't be digging all the way to the bottom like I do sometimes in my other videos, but um, I'm really impressed with this bin. Um, I was a little bit worried about the moisture and I had talked to um, Steve who developed this from the Urban Worm, Worm Company and um, he had commented that I should probably water this, keep it moist um, for the first few weeks until the moisture level kind of regulates throughout the system. So I have come in here and added some water a few times, but nothing crazy, and it's certainly not drying out, but I mean, it's a little bit dry on the top, but that's to be expected. So, so far so good. I'm loving this system. I'm really excited to see um, what it will be able to do for me, but I just wanted to give you guys a little peek at it today, and um, it's encouraging that the worms are moving up to it. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more bedding to the top here, and um, we will take it from there. Okay, so I just soaked some of my shredded cardboard for a few minutes in some water because um, I want it to be a little bit more wet than usual so I can try to help get the moisture in this bin correct. So this is pretty, pretty dripping right now, but um, I know that there's enough um, dry bedding beneath it that it'll soak it up and um, hopefully try to get the moisture just right as this bin is still very new. And you'll find that with any system you get, um, it takes a little while to kind of learn what the proper moisture is or how much you need to add to your bins as far as if you have to mist them down or anything like that. So I think that this layer of um, wet cardboard will be really, really helpful. So I have a few more handfuls of this, probably add some after I'm done shooting this video. I don't want to make you guys watch me do all of this, but um, I did want to jump down below the system and show you what I'm going to be using to harvest this bin. So I will be right back to show you guys what that looks like. Okay guys, so here's the mortar tray that I bought. Um, really cheaply at Home Depot. I want to say it was only like $4. Um, and it, you can see it fits real nicely um, between the support poles at the bottom. And the zipper down here is really nice. I've tested it a little bit, let some of the compost fall into it, and it still zips up really easily. So that's definitely a win. And the compost in here is not dry, it's not too wet. It's really nice. So this will be where I harvest, when I can knock out some of the castings when the time comes. Um, but I'm really pleased with that. And then I wanted to show you this zipper here. It meets really flush with this seam. And considering this has all bananas in it, I was really concerned about fruit flies. And actually, at the moment, I have a ton of fruit flies in some of my other bins, but absolutely none around this bin. So, so far so good on the Urban Worm Bag. So I just wanted to give you guys this update today. Please comment below with your questions, comments, um, subscribe if you want some more content with me, 
and I will give you guys an update in another week or two. Have a great night.